you just imported your character from DAS into Blender and the eyes look like this. Let's fix it together. First off, I'm just going to hide the eyelashes so we can see what we're working with. You will notice that if we select our figure and look at all the materials, there are many different materials that are related to the eye. So we have eye moisture, cornea, iris, sclera, and pupil. Basically, we have a double mesh for the eyes. There is an external mesh for the moisture and cornea, and then there's another sphere inside that for the rest of the eye. And this is why it at first appears white. The first thing we're gonna do is change the cornea and the eye moisture to have the same material. So I like to change the cornea to be the same as eye moisture. And then we're gonna basically make a very simple glass shader. So roughness all the way down. And we go to specular, turn that all the way up, and then drop down to transmission and turn this all the way up. And now the light is allowed to pass through to here and we have a lovely reflection in the eye as well. We have also, because this is Genesis 8.1, there is a tear duct, which if I hide it, you can see that it looks fine. We can give the same kind of material to this one as well. Um, so roughness down, specular up, transmission all the way up. It looks funny and that's probably because it's missing the texture map for it actually. I'm going to go shader editor. It's missing the, sorry, not the texture map, but the alpha map. So image texture, open. This is from the folder with all the materials in it. Tier opacity, and then we drag color into alpha. And now our tier is hiding perfectly. I will just turn it on and off so you can see what I mean. If you're using Genesis 8, there is no tear duct. And we have to also fix the eyelashes. The eyelashes are also missing their map, so I'm gonna do the same thing again. Color into alpha, and there we have it. Beautiful eyes, all fixed, that are going to reflect whatever lighting you have in your scene.